So I'm chilling at the crib, watching a little basketball. Detroit Pistons was playing. I'm gonna get a knock at the door, you know, I'm not expecting no company. So I get up to see who it is. Early man, some young cats knock on my door, man. One of them, they they cut my grass and shit, you know. So I'm like, yeah, you know, definitely put in the work. I love to see young black men out there trying to make a way. You know, he'd been cutting for a while, man. The lawnmower broke on him, so they had to leave. Told me he'd come back. Didn't think he was gonna come back. Hours later, he showed up, knock on my door, let me know that he he here to finish his job. So he's still working, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the young man. Working. Done, bro? Yes, sir. Alright, get back, get back. What's your name, man? Tess. How old are you, bro? 14. 14. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a couple questions real quick on camera, man. Okay. Um Why you think I let you cut my grass today? <laughs> Honestly, uh the only reason I let you cut my grass is because me and you got one thing in common. What what's that? The black. Yeah, for real. And so you, you you laughing, man. But see, like, why you needed money? You just trying to make some extra money for something? Yep. I'm trying to get some shoes. Are uh, you trying to get some shoes? Yeah. Where are you going to buy them shoes? Probably from the mall. Okay. All right. Do you think any black people own the mall? Nope. Do you think that any any black people going to make any money off them shoes? Some. So? They're like LeBron and Jordan. Okay. All right. See, the whole purpose of this is, like, I, I'm giving you my money because I'm trying to keep it black. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why. So, like, if, like, a Mexican that came by and I gave him the money, that's going to help his people. You know what I'm saying? But me giving you the money is going to help my people. And see, so the whole thing is, like, the black dollar stay in the community like six hours. You know how long the white dollar stay in, in, in that community? Like like uh, like 12 days. You know what I'm saying? So that I mean like when the white person gets some money, that money is gonna touch a bunch of other white people's hands. You know what I'm saying? But like when black people get some money, you see, you see what, what you about to go do, about to go buy some shoes. So ain't no other black people gonna make no money off of that. But see like, I work hard for my money and you came and asked me if you can cut my grass. And I said, yeah, cause you black. So I'm making sure that the money that I make goes into another black hand. So, you know what I'm saying? I know you're young. It really don't make a lot of sense to you right now, but moving forward, make sure that the money that you make goes into another black hand and everybody eat. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense to you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I know you're still going to go out and buy some shoes, and I ain't mad at you. But, like, in the long run, just make sure some other black people eat, and we all be good. You feel me? Yeah. All right.